The hour-long meeting touched upon Chinese cooperation with the United Nations and international and regional hotspot issues of shared interests. Both sides reiterated that the world body should more actively advance peace and stability. The world has had so many problems. They are all about peace and development after all. To promote peace and development, the UN should take full advantages of its action pillars of conciliation and peacekeeping. We need a United Nations that, first of all, abides by its principles, the universal principles that are enshrined in the Charter, and makes no concessions on that. It is so decided. The former Prime Minister of Portugal was appointed as the next Secretary General of the United Nations in October. It comes as the international community struggles to deal with international terrorism, a global refugee crisis, the war in Syria, and a sluggish world economy. The current unrest in the world is due to poor implementation or even violation of the principles set when the UN was first founded. So China is willing to work together with all other countries to help the UN stick to its initial purposes. That was echoed by Mr. Guterres, who said that people were living in a dangerous world. He said the international community is tasked with preventing new conflicts and resolving old ones as well. We are seeing global problems for which we need global solutions and for which we need the strengthening of governance mechanisms of multilateral nature. And I want to underline that China is today a solid pillar of multilateralism in the world. As the current head of the UN Refugee Agency, Antonio Guterres is well known on the front lines of armed conflict and humanitarian suffering. He is regarded as the best choice for an organization that takes on the world's most troubled spots filled with insecurity and uncertainty. So many believe for Mr. Guterres, closer cooperation with China, the world's second largest economy with more than 18% of the world's population, will surely help him with this mission. Tambo CCTV, Beijing.